In this episode of Engineering Disasters, we are looking at the infamous sinking of the Titanic on the 15th of April 1912. The Titanic was a British luxury passenger liner with a capacity for around 2,200 passengers and crew. After completing its sea trials in early April 1912, the Titanic was declared seaworthy. She was hailed as unsinkable due to her 16 watertight compartments that could be sealed off individually to prevent a flood. It was claimed that the ship could still float with as many as four of the compartments fully submerged. On April 10, 1912, the ship set sail on its maiden voyage from Southampton to New York. However, at approximately 11.40 p.m. on April 14, whilst navigating the North Atlantic Ocean, an iceberg was spotted. Unable to change course in time, the iceberg collided with the side of the hull, rupturing at least five of the watertight compartments. Water rushed into the compartments, causing the ship to start sinking at the bow. Distress signals were sent out to nearby ships in the hope of a rescue. Passengers and crew were evacuated using the lifeboats, with women and children prioritized first. As the bow continued to sink, the stern began to rise out of the water, which led to large stresses being applied to the midsection of the ship. At 2.18 a.m. on the 15th April, the Titanic split into two sections, and by 2.20 a.m. was completely submerged in water. Of the 2,200 passengers and crew, more than 1,500 were killed. There were many factors that caused the demise of the Titanic. The designers, Harland and Wolfe, only included enough lifeboats for 1,178 people, which was slightly over half of the total passengers and crew that were on board. This flaw was further increased by most lifeboats being launched at less than full capacity. In fact, lifeboat number 7, which had a capacity of 65, was only launched with 27 people on board. The scheduled lifeboat drill earlier in the day was cancelled, which undoubtedly led to confusion whilst launching the boats. This meant that only 705 people were rescued by lifeboats, over 400 less than maximum capacity. A general warning alarm was never sounded, which caused confusion amongst the passengers and crew as to the severity of the danger. This resulted in many passengers arriving late on the top deck and missing the lifeboats. The sea was unusually calm, which meant that it was harder to spot icebergs as there would be little water breaking at their bases. The binoculars for the spotters were also missing, making it even harder to spot the icebergs. When the iceberg was spotted, the first officer reversed the engines to slow the ship down. However, this actually caused the ship to turn slower than if it was traveling at its original speed. Many scientists believe that if the Titanic had hit the iceberg head-on, it would have survived. A ship called the Californian was near the Titanic at the time of the incident, however, its wireless had been turned off for the night. All of these factors culminated in the sinking of the Titanic and the loss of 1,500 lives. This was a disaster that could have been avoided or reduced, which resulted in criticism of the design, and the actions of the nearby vessel, the Californian. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more content.